Hi, this is Wendy at Chickawoo Ranch, and we're here to talk to you about our dog food selection today for our LGDs. dog food that we have chosen to feed our LGDs for about a year now. We have found a dog food calculator that we're going to link in the description below to show you how to evaluate your dog food. These are the reasons why we chose to do this dog food in the beginning. Number one, it uh, is a 40 pound bag and it generally runs in the 30 to 35 dollar range so that fit our bill literally the other reasons were it does have a lot of good nutrients in it it does say antioxidants uh, omega fatty acids no corn it's a no corn and no wheat and no soy food another consideration in selecting your dog food is availability Lots of people like to order online and have it shipped to you. That's great. Most of the time we don't do that. We like to pick it up at the store. So it's very important that we have a few options of different stores that carry the kind of dog food we want. If one is out or maybe one is on sale, then we can bargain shop and have our options that way. Nothing's worse than depending on one source and the supply to be consistently low. So the food calculator, as I said, that we were, we'll be putting in the description below, we grabbed our bag, got the ingredients side by side with the calculator, and we came up with a lower score than we wanted. Didn't grade so well. We kind of hit about in the D category. C, D, F, F. A D is not as good as we'd like, <laughs> so we're going to be reevaluating and looking at some other options. Right now, we're still looking at sticking with possibly the same brand, but uh, moving up a scale in that. And I'll tell you some of the things that we liked about some of the other foods. So the food calculator works something like this. You start with 100 points and it gives you a list of about 12 items that you subtract points from. Then it gives you a list of another 12 points, bullet points I guess, that you add points back to your food. So it tells you, you know, if you have corn to subtract how many points from your food and so on and so on. And as you get through that, then you get to add points back. And we landed around a D, not something that we would like. We want to feed our dogs a little better than that. However, we do have a lot of dogs. Um, don't want the corn product, that's good, but we need something economical that works for our family. On the link in the food calculator, what is nice is they have already graded several brands of food and it's listed alphabetically. So if you're a lucky one, your food might already have been graded for you and you don't have to go through the whole food calculation. Ours was not. Um, so we looked at what they recommended and I'm going to show you what we have selected. So one of the big ingredients that was missing out of our dog food that we really need and we know that we need from experience is the glucosamine and chondroitin and one of the reasons being our oldest dog is six years old and he's had uh, ACL surgery in terms of for a dog and has a lot of arthritis built up in his joint so that's an ingredient that we know we need in our dog food so a couple of the recommendations that looking at Diamond brand food, this happens to be Diamond Naturals. The website gave Diamond, it didn't say natural, so it may be 
a little out of date. Um, they've upgraded and changed things around. So, but they did give Diamond Large Breed dog food a like a 99. So that's excellent. Uh, going from a D to an A. Uh, they also listed was it lamb and rice, and they gave it around a 92. I want to say. Um, so I started with that and started looking at those two. What I have come up with, looking at my notes, the two selections that we're gonna shoot for is Diamond Naturals Large Breed, Chicken and Rice, still a 40 pound bag, still runs around $35. Uh, the protein is lower at 23% as opposed to 25%. However, because it's large breed, it does have the glucosamine chondroitin, very important. The second dog food I'm not sure about is the Diamond Naturals. It's called Extreme Athlete. You're still getting a 40 pound bag. The price goes up quite a bit. You're at $42 for that. The glucosamine and chondroitin is included and the protein is 32%, considerably higher in that range. So my first choice is probably gonna be the large breed since we're feeding four large breed dogs right now to save a little bit, but a 99% is excellent compared to a 70%. So I invite you to take a look at the food calculator and reevaluate your dog food. Hopefully corn is not amongst that, but it's very popular in dog food. And these guys are an investment on our farm and we want to treat them like one and feed them like one. We can't always afford to do the A plus, not we have too much going on and too many other things to allow that to fit into our budget but we do want to feed them the best that we can. So thanks for watching Chickawoo Franch, and we'll see you on the next LGD video. So I invite you to get out the food calculator, reevaluate your dog food. Start over, I floored my wall. So I invite you to take a look at the food calculator and reevaluate. So I invite you to stop it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.